Hey everybody, Gamers are us coming to you guys with part 2 of our Epic Spiral to Dragon playthrough. Now, I did notice there was a little bit of audio desync in the last video, but by like a millisecond. So I changed the settings just a minuscule amount. So hopefully that'll fix things. I don't know why it does it off and on. But anyways, we'll be doing Town Square. It could have been simply due to the fact that we started the playthrough while it was doing its big loading screen. Like, you know, where the game does its stupid, like, black screen and everything because it's a Switch game, and Switch games suck that way. Now, to get the skill point here, we're going to have to get all the bulls stuck. Now, that sounds weird, but I'll show you guys how. It's actually not that hard at all. Ah, uh, yes, the beautiful red-orange sky of Town Square. And our fodder is chicken, and the music here is pretty good. You can actually make it so you can listen to the original music. But we're playing the Reignited Trilogy. Let's listen to their music. It's pretty much the same stuff anyway. And we have our first dragon already. Nils. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. Hmm, I also forgot to do something. There we go. I don't want the audio looping in the background. Anyways, what you have to do to get them stuck is you have to headbutt them. They'll be here the entire level, but now they're stuck. This level is more of a... Did, wait, did I just do something that you can't... Like, yeah. You do like a weird slide jump. Okay, now these things. You flame them, and then you jump up. You can also headbutt them, but you get stunned. And that screws with things. And for some reason, I did like a... What a... A 90 degree kind of curve, I don't know. Now those things are lives, I forgot to mention in the first episode, but you guys kind of figured that out when I picked them up. Oh, I didn't mean to touch you, Devlin, but can you make me some deviled eggs? Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wig. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? Wow, that's some amazing information, buddy. Eh, matador. Not a matador anymore. Also, in this game, water hurts you. It's really weird, because water is a big gimmick in Spyro games, but it hurts you in this. Ah, another bull-headed bull. And yet again, another one. Sucks to be them, because we murdered them. Now, there actually is a little area you have to go over here, and... Another issue I have with the Switch version is the walls have a lot more collision than they're supposed to have. See, like, when we touch that wall, it kind of shoves us to the side, so we kind of want to fly like that. Now what I recommend, ignore the gems and just go right for the thief. Because he's a notorious little bugger. And he jumped all the way back up, of course he did. Yeah, like I said, they made the thieves a lot harder in this game. And on the Switch version, you can't transition from abilities as smoothly as PlayStation and Xbox. And it kind of, it's kind of a pain. It really is. It's, it doesn't make the game harder, it just makes the game more annoying. See, because he's also not supposed to charge that fast. Um... For some reason, it froze and I couldn't flame. You know, that also might cause the audio desync. It's the weird sputtering that the game actually causes on, on, causes on its own. Oh, we're not making that. Yeah, he swerved too much. And this is why exactly I record, uh, you know, the way I do. Because of things like this. Wait, is it me or did he... Ow. There we go. Sheesh. I don't know what that interaction was. It just stopped running. I think that's why they made the trigger flame. Because, let's be real. You really aren't going to use A much in this. So I'll probably just stick to the trigger. We almost grabbed all the gems here too by complete fluke. Now there are some over here that we missed. Oh yeah, I forgot to go over the totals. Four dragons, one egg, 200 gems. So probably the... Well, I guess it's tied for biggest level of Stone Hill, but... 
Oh yeah, we also need to go over here. I completely forgot about this. Yeah, nice. And we have a dragon over here. And whoa, what is that camera angle doing, man? Thank you, Mr. Bull. And these things, you have to flame them three times in rapid succession. Or in this case, four for some reason. And we have Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, see, in the original, he just said thank you for releasing me, but they actually gave him dialogue. Which is really nice, and you don't sound like a bull. And we got our skill point, which means we shoved all of their horns into the ground. Because we're a nice character. And we got all the gems. And this is the final dragon, Alvar. Well, we already did that. See, watch. We got the level done, buddy. So, we're out of here. Let's take our 200 gems and fly away home. Now we can go do the flying level. Which I won't go over the totals for. There's no dragons. You just get gems and you have to do it all before the time runs out. That's it. Nothing else to it. There's no skill points, no achievements on the Switch. So, thing is, for the achievement, you had to do a, like a, a, a what do they call that? You have to fly on like over the bridge and then do like your backward flip and then go through the bridge and then you get the achievement. It's whack. Like there's a few that are really dumb. Like in the third game, there's one where you have to stay in the air for so long and there's only one specific spot that's really difficult to do. And yeah, it's it's just annoying. Anyways, to get this open, you have to jump on each of these. They'll light up. In the originals, they were turned yellow and green. But, yeah, once that happens, we get this. Sunny Flight. There's one flight level per area, and this is the only level in the entire game that's hidden, by the way. The only one. I don't know why. And sorry, my mouth is swollen, so I'm just kind of, like, pushing on it. Ow. It hurts, but oh well. Now, let's do this. We have 30 seconds to do everything, starting with these little choo-choo trains. I love how we're just murdering all these norks, even though it doesn't look like they're really doing anything bad. Like, we haven't seen them actually do anything bad other than just stand around. So are we the bad guys, or are we the good guys? Alright, now we can go this way and fight all these little planes. Torch, torch. Oh, that double kill was gorgeous. I apparently missed the one that I was really close to, but got the one that was really far away. That makes perfect sense, man. Alright, Mr. Mr. Biplane. Right. Now we can go get these, the arches. They were green in the original. I'm not entirely sure why they made them look like the Spyro 2 ones. That's just me. I don't really care for them. Also, the, they don't have animations anymore on the bottom part of the screen. Whoa, that lag almost got me. Man, they, they gotta really fix the frame rates on Switch games. And I don't blame the, the creators themselves, because let's be real, the Switch is, like, very underwhelmingly weak. Compared to, like, the new PlayStation and Xbox and PC, yeah, they're really, really weak. Like, yeah, I like them because they have Pokemon and Mario and stuff, and those games always run beautifully, but... They don't focus on other games. You can also press A to, like, flutter upward. Not really that useful. But if you're bad at controlling Spyro, I guess it's good. That's about it. Really nothing else to it. I missed one, but it's just over here. And boom! He should fly into the air when you beat the level. There we go. And you don't want to click retry. You just want to go to quit. Which, for some reason, they always switch A and B in this game. And why was there a loading screen? Did you see that? It was going to go into a loading screen. That's a lot of gems, though. Holy cow. Thank you.
Might actually have to do some of the next uh, whirl in this episode, because we only have one more level. And we're only at, like, what, ten minutes? I don't really have anything to discuss in this game, or in this episode, compared to the first one. And now this should open up. Very delayed, but we have Toasty, which looks like a volcanic level, but is it? Whoa, that's bright on the eyes, man. That slowdown I don't think helps record it, and oh my god, that cloud down there is pixelated and looks like a buzzsaw. That looks awful on here. It does not look like that on the other platforms, by the way. Are the clouds really that bad? Oh my god, the buzzsaw cloud exists. Also, that water looks awful. Oh yeah, the shepherds are back. And they're sheepdogs. These guys, you flame them once and then back away. Or if you're really quick, you can actually flame them twice in a row. I'll see if I can show that to you guys. Like, if we just spam flame, yeah, you can kill them. There we go. What if you can hold it down? No, you can't hold it down. Did we miss anything? Oh, we, we didn't fight you up here with your two sheeper dogs. Man, you guys keep dropping me pathetic gems. Oh, yeah. 100 gems of one dragon. Yeah, boss levels are really weird that way. They're usually smaller than other levels. But then again, it's the only game where bosses actually have physical levels. Normally in Spiral, bosses are going to be like just a boss room and then that's it. You don't actually have a level to it. Oh, I thought I screwed that up. He should have jumped, but he didn't. I feel sorry for these guys. I thought they were made out of stone in the original. I didn't even think they were real dogs. Like, in this game, they're actually sheep dogs. In the original, they looked like they were stone, and then when you flamed them, it looked like you broke off their stone. You just make them really not hairy after this. You just torch off their hair. Poor guys. Like, what did we ever do to them? Do, 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 do. Anyways, I guess we can get our first dragon. Or and only dragon here. What? Nevin! Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on! I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. He acts like that's a hint. It's really, really not. He looks scary, and he looks like the freaking Pumpkin Grim Reaper. My second attack didn't do anything, but flame him. And it's a sheep. It's literally just a sheep. Also, these dogs are supposed to be side by side, in, like in the original. Like, kind of like that, but they're, they're not. Oh, well. Double kill. Triple kill. Quadra kill. And just like that. Also, the only level to have a cutscene, by the way, that isn't a dragon in any Spyro game out of the three. And just like that, we beat the level. Easy peasy again. Like, sheesh game. Short level. And we have a thousand gems. So we'll probably go and do the next homeworld and then call it an episode. Because I don't want a 13 minute episode. And we can get away from these pixelated clouds, finally. Like, my lord. They're ugly, man. Yeah, I just realized I had a bunch of blood on the side of my finger. Hey, we got a 1-up. Even though he ate the butterfly after we got the 1-up. So now that we're done here... We'll... Wait, did I miss a skill point on Toasty, by the way? No. Scare 6 Norks into tents in the next level. Okay. Right, so let's talk to the balloonist. Wow. I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. You may travel to the peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Yes, I am. Also, the only guys in Spyro that have text boxes. I don't mean Spyro 2 or 3, I just mean in this game. But anyways, we're on to the peacekeepers. Can you guys guess what the world is?
That's really weird. There's a black screen there for a second. But we made it! It's a desert world that you can barely tell just by the cactus there, I guess. Anyways, we have three dragons, one egg, and two hundy gems. And we got a little Nork man with a spear. Anyways, these guys are kind of brutish. We have Titan. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. I like his purple hair. Also, why does he have hair? So these red ones, you're going to want to scare them into dents. These guys have cannons which can shoot you. They're really not that much of an issue. Also, there's some secret gems here that are a little hard to see. Uh, also, yeah, you can use the cannon, but there's only, I think, two cannons that you're going to use. So one of the levels here we can do is Dry Canyon. Mm, sounds kind of dry and boring, isn't it? It's actually an interesting level. This game probably does Desert Worlds the best. And they're not all desert here. So what you want to do is you want to scare all these guys into... Can you guys go away? Oh man, you guys are supposed to go into your tent. There you go, you have to kill one of them, and then they'll all jump into the tent. And then they'll moon you. The achievement here was to actually kill one that was mooning you, by the way. And I was just scared. Not all of them will moon you, though. I took dumb damage trying to get them to run into their tent. See, because I guess we killed them. And there we go. Skill point for doing absolutely nothing. That was the most delayed kill I have ever seen. Like, man, this game just runs so bad on the Switch. I know I'm probably going to say that a lot, but let's be real. It does. There's the balloonist. We don't have enough stuff yet to travel, I believe. Oh my god, you guys really ran into your tents. It's actually better to press the trigger than the, um, oh god, <laughs> than the the uh, A button for some reason. Not entirely sure why they made it easier. Also, if you flame a cactus, they'll actually shake it off. Oh, they used to literally shake it off. Now they just kind of like brush it off, but oh well. Still look cool though. Now, this is where this level's in, or this world's interesting. We actually have an ice level called the Ice Cavern. And I think it's pretty cool. Let's go get one of these jackalopes. Also, we missed a gem, so that's good. That we found it. And we might as well talk to you. What's your name, sir? Magnus Bane. Hey, Spyro. Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. <laughs> chubby dragon. So yeah, you just go up to these, you can rotate them around just by walking, and then you can use the flame breath to blow up stuff like that. And that one. And obviously the big target up there. And for some reason, in this game, if you shoot a cannonball and then move it, it won't still be locked onto it. The original it would be. You can actually do that a lot faster, but for some reason, no. Now, Funny thing is, the flight level, I guess, is kind of a secret, but to complete the level, you actually have to go up here anyways. We have Night Flight, which is, it's a pretty level. Skill point there would be to flame the uh, fairies that you see. Something that you, it's really weird, because normally you wouldn't do that. Anyways, we got some gems there. Our last dragon over here is chilling with the thief. Mr. Thief, and there's a key, but we haven't seen a chest yet, so I don't know where that could be. Man, can this camera angle actually cooperate? Oh, we took damage, but we got the egg. I was trying to cheese it. Anyways, we have Gunner. Ch -ch Boom. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. All right, bro. Now, I do know where the chest is, guys. Oh, let's get that jackalope first. What you do want to do is you want to glide all the way over here. And be careful you get to get your, like, tallest jump. Because otherwise, you'll be in a heap of trouble and sink into the goop. And bada-bing, bada-boom, bada-bing! And just like that, we didn't complete the level. 
I smell food cooking. It's distracting me while I'm trying to look for this gem. Now, you don't have the gem tr Oh, it's right here. Easy. So anyways, in the next episode, we will be checking out Dry Canyon. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you guys all next time. Have a wonderful day, evening, whatever time of day it is for you guys.